welcome to my bathroom so i'm really excited to be filming this video you guys i have been planning and i was just not sure how i wanted to film it but i knew i didn't want to do um just like a bathroom tour i wanted this video to be educational i wanted it to be informative so um, i decided to ask you guys questions i mean to ask you guys to ask me questions that you'd like to know about the bathroom and i feel like you guys have asked like good questions um i don't even have to go back to my talking points because i did have like points but if i feel like there's something missing then i'm obviously gonna go back to my points and check if there's anything that i missed but yeah i'm really excited to be filming this video i've made myself a cup of coffee and i'm gonna start with the, so i asked you guys to ask me questions on the community page and on my home page on instagram so yeah i'm also wearing my favorite gown let me just put this coffee away it's still very hot I'm wearing my gown this is the gown that I got from Zara home yeah I hope you guys don't mind that's what I would normally wear in my bathroom I didn't want this video to be serious and I'm also filming this video in the morning so yeah it just it just makes sense before I start with the questions I want you guys to know that this video is I, like I didn't really like rehearse or plan um, how I'm gonna answer the questions but I'm just gonna like just answer the questions and be honest because this was done by us and we were here and we saw everything um so i basically do have all the answers and um yeah i'm really excited to be finally filming this video you guys i'm so so excited you guys like it feels like a dream to say that this bathroom is complete because it took so long like i was hoping to have this bathroom done by my like by march like in march i remember i said like for my birthday i want to have a bathroom but yeah it wasn't done like there were so many delays and yeah but i'll get into that uh when i answer all the questions so yeah let's get started so i'm just like answering all the questions uh in my community page yeah i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to cover all the questions but yeah we'll see so the first question is how long did the whole process take so for us it took much longer than we expected and i think one of the reasons was because we like i spent so much time trying to find um like the bathtub remember i wanted the, um, this very expensive bathtub but i didn't want to pay that money so i spent so much time looking for like a cheaper bathtub that i liked i knew exactly what i wanted but the problem was what i wanted was very expensive so i spent so much time like trying to find like cheaper alternatives which i couldn't find so basically so much time was wasted if we had like everything like all the material like the accessories and everything i think it was going to take like two weeks to be honest you guys saw it took i think it took like maybe two months in total if you don't mind sharing how much was it so yesterday i sat down you guys and i started calculating everything i took all the receipts i started like okay that's my community the neighbors group so yesterday i started calculating everything i took all the receipts it's not gonna be accurate because like you know like with renovating there's always like some things that you need to go back to the store like you go to the stores like every day to buy some things so the number that i have is not accurate so when i did my calculations yesterday let's see let's see i'm still gonna do a breakdown but in total we spent over like 140k which was a lot because initially we had um we had planned our budget was 50 to 60k <laughs> i know it's crazy it was 50 to 60k and we ended up spending like over 140k um and yeah I, i'm i'm really i was really shocked but i the stuff that i wanted was very expensive like for example the bathtub was so expensive it was actually like almost uh like our entire budget for this bathroom so yeah we ended up spending a lot of money and i was really shocked because i wasn't expecting this bathroom to be over like hundred thousand but it costed like over one hundred and forty thousand. so um that was a lot of money and that money was what we had planned to use for the the bathroom and the kitchen so that's why we don't have a kitchen right now because um i mean we do have a kitchen but we haven't renovated our kitchen and the main reason why we haven't is because we used all the money that we had like saved for um for the bathroom and the kitchen we used it in one space and i'm not really like i don't feel 
uh, I don't regret because I'm really happy with our bathroom so um, yeah we are like now in the planning stage stages of like renovating our kitchen so yeah we knew that we wanted this bathroom so I'm really not like I wasn't really sad about it uh, because I knew that we were not in a rush to renovate our kitchen we didn't have a bathroom like I was not like I was really not happy with our space like this bathroom it was so bad I am going to show you guys the before and after we had to start with the bathroom and make sure that we are happy with it and yeah of course i'm not happy with how much we spent but i'm really happy with the bathroom so i think it was worth it and this is an approximate figure like it's not exact because obviously i cannot like track down everything this is what i could find when i was like searching my emails for the invoices um which is not everything because there are some things like you pay at the store you get a receipt and sometimes you pay the builders in cash so yeah it's not like accurate okay the next question is is there anything you are still not happy with um i think what i'm not happy with i just like little things like like the corners i love this corners but i feel like the guys who did the, um, the installation they didn't do it like a great job so i'm not really happy with like it's just not tidy um it's not what i would have done if i was like doing it myself it's not tidy and other things it's just like the wall the wall is not straight uh obviously you guys cannot see but we've seen some things like the um, the cracks um we've had issues with the okay there are some things that i couldn't like we couldn't do because of the mistakes that were done by the the builders so for example we wanted a double like a french double glass door the shower door but we couldn't do that because the the shower was out of, was out of square i think the mistake we made was just trusting the builders and thinking that they obviously will do a great job because they know their job they didn't like measure accurately like them like measure the wall to make sure that it's in square so we couldn't get the double french doors and we couldn't also what else could we not do yeah it's just a few things that i wasn't happy with i don't have like anything major that i feel like oh my god i hate it so much i cannot like even like use this bathroom um so yeah that's those are the things um that i can think of right now and the next question is which part is your favorite i think my favorite part i have two favorite parts my first favorite part is the shower you guys i think that shower was like the first thing that i had in my in my vision board um not my vision board my pinterest board um that shower like the um, the, the full shower cladded with marble that was a dream you guys and i felt like I wasn't gonna get it because I, I saw the prices and I was like oh my god this is so expensive like how are we ever gonna afford to do this I decided to stick to our vision because my boyfriend didn't really care um, like in terms of like the materials that we were gonna use he didn't mind um, like the quads the tile he didn't mind all of that but there was no convincing me you guys i wanted the marble i didn't care how expensive it was i didn't care how long it was going to take i didn't care if we had to order it um if, if we had to place an order and wait for three months i didn't care like there was no convincing me i wanted the marble and that's what i got so yeah i think my dream like my first favorite part is the shower really happy with our shower obviously there are some things that happened <laughs> with the shower that i wasn't happy with but yeah overall really happy with the shower that's my first favorite part and then the next thing i love you guys the beyond of bath tubs i always see other bath tubs and there's so many beautiful bath tubs you guys but i feel like the bath tub i chose is the most beautiful bath tub in my eyes i really really love it it's so beautiful it's unique and ah, love 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 it so much and that bath tub is a classic it will never go out of style it's not like a trending bath tub which i love because you know with trends next year you wouldn't like it but yeah i really love that bath tub and i'm so happy that um as much as i wanted to save money and not buy that bath tub but i'm happy that i i decided to get it because this is like our forever bath tub like it's not going anywhere we are going to be using this bath tub for the rest of our lives so i'm happy that i i i i, I got it and yeah will you still use the people who help you do the other ba bathrooms 
or rooms in the house uh, so the guys who built our bathroom I wouldn't recommend them you guys because they are not really like reliable people <laughs> they're not reliable at all but we have decided to continue using them because we know where they live so. and also they were recommended by the previous owners uh, they are also quite affordable and um the only reason why i wouldn't recommend them is because they're just not reliable they're honestly yo you guys you have to like you have to be there like all the time to see if they're still doing the right thing because they sometimes they do their job to finish those guys are not reliable at all you guys they will say they are coming today at 8 and then you wait until 10 a.m and then at 10 they'll call you and tell you no i'm coming tomorrow and then you wait tomorrow again i have to call them follow up all the time so they're just not reliable people that's the main reason why i never like um posted their details or shared their details with you guys are you going to change the windows in the bathroom or have you thought or have you thought about putting a tint on them no so at the moment we are not going to be changing the the the, the the windows in the bathroom the reason why we decided to keep them is because like we were we like we had used all the money we had so we thought that we didn't really need to change the the the, the, the windows i wasn't really happy with them but we decided to just get blinds and the the, the roman shades um and i don't get to see those ugly windows <laughs> all the time so yeah we decided to cover those windows they're ugly i really hate them but for now that's the the option uh we had and when we have like money uh then we might change them but i don't see the window so they don't really bother me um that much um yeah next question is did you go with your first contractor or did you or you compared uh quotations so we did get like a few quotations the first quotation we got you guys was Oh, actually, the first quotation we got was the the guys that we used, and then we were not sure if we really wanted to get that. Um, I mean, to use them, um, we went to another another guy. Uh, this other guy charged, I think he charged how much was it? I think it, it, it was around 30, 25 to thirty k just for labor, and then we 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 saw like um, a lot of bad reviews uh when we check this guy i'm not gonna mention the the person because i don't wanna like i don't i just don't wanna do that um because some people use this like this guy uh or this company and then this other person was like so basically what we wanted we wanted like to pay for labor we knew exactly what we wanted we didn't want an interior designer we didn't want someone to to make plans for us we knew exactly what we wanted we just wanted like people to come and work uh, uh, so the other the third person was very expensive i think they charged so they gave us like two two coats the first coat i think it was around 140 something k it was almost the same as uh, the same price like the total of how like um how much you spent in this bathroom um but th that was just labor so it was around 140k and then i think the other coat was if like they buy the material for you i don't remember what it was included there but the other one was 160k around uh 160k and yeah that was really expensive for us we didn't have that kind of money um so we decided to go back to the first um the first guys they charged 16k uh for labor so yeah that's uh, how much we paid for labor okay someone asked if we'll be selling the the marble um no we won't be selling this marble like i feel like at the moment i don't feel like we'll be selling the marble we haven't had any issues and also it's the bathroom it's not like in the kitchen where there's like spices and all these other things uh so we will i don't think we'll be selling the marble maybe i might change my mind i don't know but at the moment the marble is fine like we haven't had or felt like it needs to be sealed um yeah so we haven't had any issues it's like it's still fine maybe after some like maybe a, a year we'll start seeing like things we don't like but, but right now the marble is fine um okay next question someone asked if um i'm 100 satisfied with the bathroom is it what i wanted it's exactly what i wanted you guys like my dream is this bathroom like it's 
it turned out to be exactly what i had like in my mind what i had envisioned what i had in my pinterest board so yeah i'm really really happy with it i'm really happy um okay i'm gonna skip some questions because i feel like i've answered them we had the we had an architecture to redraw new plans for the house no we didn't do that um we knew what we wanted with this bathroom so i did the whole design um and planning on my own i used this app i'll show you guys the app i'm actually gonna write some things here because i feel like i won't have enough time to show you guys everything but i did the whole planning like the interior like the plans for this bathroom initially what we wanted <laughs> you guys so initially the plan had to change because we had so many issues that we faced here yeah? so we had the we have a staircase here which we didn't know about where well, we knew we had a staircase but we didn't think it was like that high uh so we had initially planned to have the bathroom and the um, like the dressing room like the walk-in closet in here but we unfortunately we couldn't do that because we found that the staircase is too high so we would not be able to do anything on that space so we had to close that space and create like a storage um, cabinet i'll show you guys that you guys have seen it in my vlogs so we couldn't use that entire space which we had planned to use i think we wanted to move we wanted the shower to be there I don't remember but yeah we had a completely different plan and yeah unfortunately it had to change um when the guys started the demo like demolishing the walls we 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 saw that nah our plan is not gonna work so we had to go back to the drawing board and um design new plans so yeah uh what was the question oh it was if we had someone yeah we didn't have anyone i did all the planning on my own uh someone asked oh there's so many questions about the window i don't know if you guys hate my windows <laughs> there's so many questions about them um but yeah we know like windows will not be like it's not part of our plan right now uh we have so many important things right now windows will have to wait um someone asked if we stick to the budget we didn't so we initially planned 50 to 60k and we ended up spending over 140k so yeah we didn't stick to the budget did you start budgeting or did you get different yeah we started obviously we had the budget like we knew how much we wanted to spend but luckily we wanted to renovate the kitchen and the bathroom at the same like i don't remember which one we wanted to start with but we had money for like we had money for the kitchen and the bathroom and we ended up using all that money for the bathroom so yeah that's why we were able to like to do um the renovation um someone asked if uh, i would recommend the contractors no i wouldn't recommend there are some people that i would recommend like the tyler uh, the fabricator i would recommend them also our, our electrician is really good i would also recommend him but the the builders mm -mm, no actually even the electrician sometimes is i don't know but the person that i'm really like sure about is the tyler like guys that guy is amazing like he's reliable he he knows his job he does exactly what you tell him to do he's so good he's really good can you take us through your planning process how how did you go about getting inspiration and designing your bathroom were you into mood boarding or did you walk did you work with someone can we see your mood board if you created one so i do have a mood board i didn't work with anyone um because obviously if you work with someone you have to pay them we didn't have like enough money to get someone and also i knew what i wanted so i felt like it was like there was no need to get someone um i did have a mood board i used to show you guys like pictures of, of what i wanted i'm gonna like paste pictures here and show you guys my mood board and that's basically what i did like i just have um i just had a mood board and i was saving all these um pins on my pinterest and i also watched a lot of like you know those um ad home tours i watched a lot of those and one day i saw this bathroom i forgot the name of this guy the designer i saw this bathroom and it was exactly what i wanted so i saved that video and i knew that i would go back to it and see um and see like like what they did obviously with those videos you don't you you don't really get to see like the whole process but i just wanted it to be exactly like that like with the cladding of the marble i wanted it to be exactly like that i wanted the bathroom to be covered in marble um i mean the shower to be covered in marble so yeah that's another video that i saved and then yeah it's mainly just on pinterest you guys i didn't really have like drawings or things that i i designed um it was mainly like uh inspirations from what i i saw on pinterest um 
yeah and i knew that i didn't want to have like a super modern bathroom i didn't want that i, I just wanted my bathroom to be calming and cozy and just relaxing i didn't want it to be like um moody uh, as much as i love moody uh, i didn't want the primary bathroom to be like that i still have like other um, like the guest ba bathrooms that i can go crazy with like in terms of like colors but with this one i just wanted it to be super calming and relaxing yeah how did you choose the color of your paint oh is there a reason why you chose not to have tiles on your walls or did you use water waterproof paint so i don't like tiles like to be honest i don't like tiles the tiles on the wall i didn't like that i don't think it's my style i don't like that look if we were to do tile i think we'd do it in the in the shower not like on the walls like around the bathroom i don't think i like that so yeah but i already knew that i wanted marble so that's the reason why i didn't do tile our paint is not waterproof i don't think it's waterproof no it's not waterproof um and yeah i don't really we haven't had any issues with it but it's not waterproof where is the best place to buy a marble slab and what do you and what do they go for in terms of price calcutta viola is my favorite type of marble by the way okay love calcutta viola um we got our marble slab from union tiles um and yeah i think the tip i can give you with like marble or even if it's not marble like even with quartz or any other slab that you want to buy i would say go with your fabricator obviously they don't sell to like to individual customers you have to have a fabricator when you go there when you get them you realize that the, the stones are not the same stone is a natural material so it's it, it's not gonna be the same like the slabs are not the same so i would highly highly recommend that you go there with your fabricator and choose the slab that you want because the fabricator is just doing their job they will choose any slab they don't really care if it's like nice or it has like large veins or i mean veining they don't care about that so i would highly highly suggest that you go with your fabricator there and choose the slab that you want because that's what we did um we went to union's house and we chose each and every slab that we wanted they mark each and every slab so if you go and select the slab that you want that's the exact slab that you get the slab that i have is not the slab that you get if you go now and buy the slab uh so yeah highly recommend that you go there with your fabricator and you choose the slab that you want the one we got they call it rosa aurora but this slab it looks exactly like viola i do believe that it's viola but i don't know why they call it to rosa aurora because if you go on google and search for rosa aurora it's a different type of marble like it's a it has like pink veins and this one doesn't have any pink veins so i believe this one is is uh viola i just don't know why they call it uh, rosa aurora at union's house uh but if you've seen the, um, the viola you know that it looks exactly like this but yeah in case anyone wants to go and buy the same slab they call it um rosa aurora um it's best if you go with the picture and just show them wh um, what you want because i don't even know if they change the names um yeah but yeah this slab was around so with the the slabs it depends on the size that you get um so it the price that i'm gonna give you it's, it's not gonna be accurate because it depends on the um, on the size of the marble that you find there so this was uh, so we paid roughly 7k 6.8 to 7k for each slab and we got i think we ended up buying like three yeah we got three slabs the next question is did you enjoy the process and would you do it again definitely i'll do it again didn't really enjoy it <laughs> to be honest i think i the um, like i enjoyed the part that we like where i was much more involved like in terms of like selecting materials selecting um paint colors i i enjoyed those but the building process it wasn't really interesting at all <laughs> but yeah i would definitely do it again we we've done it again with the, the bedroom we renovated our bedroom we are going to be renovating our kitchen soon so yeah definitely doing it again and again and again and again um next question is um do you have an eventing system installed um do you have an extractor so there, there are a lot of questions about the extract i'm not sure if i've, I've never shown you guys but we do have an extractor in our shower the extractor fan 
we had to install it because in our previous apartment you guys we had this issue with um, the ceiling the mold in the ceiling and yeah we knew that when we we buy our home or I mean when we buy our home or renovate our bathroom we have to install uh, an extractor fan so we do have an extractor fan I'll show you guys when I show you the bathroom but we do have it installed what would you do differently I think the next time we obviously like this was our first renovation project and it was a huge project i think the next time we renovate our bathroom it's not gonna be as um like we won't be making the same mistakes that we made now we've learned and we've gained so much knowledge so we know what questions to ask or like what things to look out for uh so i think what i'll do differently is to just be more involved like can not be scared to tell the builders what i want them to do what i want them to change if there's anything they've done wrong how did you find the best deal of the marble i don't know if this was the best deal it wasn't on sale so that was the price i really are you entirely into interior deco or are you specifically into into interior deco styles i'm not really sure if i understand this question but i love interior design and i'm not really into like one specific style i love like i love so many things you guys like even with our bathroom we can see um a lot of people think that just because we got uh just because we bought a victorian house then it's gonna be like vintage and just granny ish but that's not my style like i love so many things as much as i love vintage i also love some like more than pieces so i i think my style is not like i cannot like put it into like one box so i love so many things um yeah so many different styles um and then um gosh, i'm running out of time you guys i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to answer all the questions there's so many questions about the extractor fan but yeah we do have it i'll show you guys um where we got the toilet the toilet is from victorian bathroom so most of the things that like mo like most of the large like items that we got for the bathroom were for Vic were from victorian bathrooms uh really really love them i think the last question i'm gonna answer here is the one about the, the shower the shower head shower heads we got from amazon so i will link the um, the store in my description box so this the the brand is called Bra kingston brass yeah they called kingston brass and that's where we got our um, our that's where we got our our shower heads uh, but I will be linking everything in the description box so it was very easy like with Amazon I think I really enjoyed um, buying from Amazon because you pay for shipping and customs like as you place your place your order so you just wait for your order and I think it didn't take that long I think it took like maybe around two to three weeks I bought quite a few things I got the shower heads I even got my kitchen my kitchen my kitchen mixer I got it from uh, that store on Amazon Okay, so I'm gonna move over to the questions from my Instagram. Here's one thing you will never do again with this Renault, a big no. I think a big no for me will be just leaving everything to, I mean, just trusting that your builder is gonna do the right thing and not like, like be 100% involved. As much as I feel like I was involved with this bathroom, obviously I didn't have like all the knowledge. So I just believe that the guys are doing their job. They know what they're doing. Um, I think next time I will be 100% involved. I will be, um, I will voice my opinion if I'm not happy with something. As I did say before, I'm going to tell them that I'm not happy with this. Please fix it. I think those are all the questions I'm going to answer for now. I'm going to like show you guys the, the the bathroom now so as i show you the bathroom i'll tell you where something is from and i'll tell you the prices uh if i remember the prices but yeah i'm go i'm also gonna leave uh some links in the description box so if there's something that i missed it's definitely gonna be in the description box yeah so i hope you guys enjoy the tour okay guys so i'm just gonna quickly show you the bathroom tour i was hoping to have someone hold the camera but yeah it's fine i think i'll just do it like this uh but yeah this is the entry to the bathroom uh, we have this arched opening here and this is one of the things that i really wanted so yeah i'm happy that we did manage to get this um and then we have this three-way three switch do i call it the three-way lever or the three-way switch so this one that's currently on now is for the the wall lights the sconces uh including the one in the bathroom and then this one is for the down light can see we have a couple of down lights we have three 
uh, this side and then inside the bathroom we have four I think and then this one is the um, is for the shower lights and the, the extractor fan so if I switch on this one you guys will start um, hearing the the noise from the extractor fan so I'm gonna switch on this one now I'm not sure if you guys can hear the noise but that's from the, the fan so there is the fan we have it there you guys never see it in my vlogs because it's right there at the corner so you can't really see it I asked them to put it there because I didn't want it to be visible I just didn't like how it looked they had really really nice ones at CTM with um, a brass finish but those ones were quite expensive and we wanted something affordable uh, so we just got this one and put it on the on the side so no one can really see it uh, but it really really does an amazing job I'm happy with it we haven't had any issues so far and then we have that light in the shower so the reason why we decided to put the light in there is because this shower is very dark as you guys see there's no like windows in here so we had to put in a light so that you can see the beautiful marble but yeah this is how the shower looks with the light switched on i'm gonna turn that off because it makes noise uh but yeah this is how the shower looks like i'm really happy with the lighting in here it's really bright and it looks really lovely i'm really really happy with this lighting um, okay, I'm gonna switch this off for now. So as you enter the bathroom, this wasn't in my initial like plans, but we decided to do it um, when we we realized that we had the space um, and we didn't want to close off this wall because we could have done that. But I decided to just use it as like a little makeup station, a hair station, uh, and I really love this space. It's it, it's really beautiful. So we just have those two drawers there. This is my boyfriend's side and this is my side so this is basically like where we store some other things we don't really i don't really like i don't normally do my makeup in here because obviously the lighting is not great in here we have these like uh these light fixtures and that down light there but it's not like the best um space for like to do your makeup because there's no like natural lighting uh but i just wanted to have this space because i think it looks really nice i wanted to have that mirror also to reflect the beautiful marble but we are planning to have another makeup station in the dressing room uh so this one is not going to be used like all the time for makeup maybe for hair maybe for like shaving uh but yeah i really really love what we did here so this mirror is from we got it from facebook marketplace i think it was one point something really really love how it looks it's really really stunning i love the like the the design i love the frame it's it's really really stunning um and also it just like adds that like traditional feel as i told you guys i didn't want the space to be like super modern so i'm really happy with this mirror it adds that like traditional feel to the space and then we got these light sconces these light sconces are from uh glow lighting we got two of these and they're really really nice i decided to decorate the top so in here i just have two trays like two marble trays this one is from zara home and this one is from country road and i just have like a little display of my fragrances and some of the earrings i've been wearing lately and then i have a diffuser this is the white jasmine the white jasmine from zara home and then i have these knobs i really love these knobs they're very different these were also from zara home I just love how different they are they have this aged brass um finish and yeah i just really really love them and then this chair is from facebook marketplace i think i got this chair at an antique store that i found on facebook marketplace i think but yeah it was very affordable and we needed like um like a high chair this is basically like a bar a bar like a bar stool but we decided to use it here for now um and then we have this rug this rug is from zara home i'm not gonna like link anything from zara home you guys because obviously we don't have zara home anymore another thing i wanted to talk about is the marble so the marble is from union tiles and it's so beautiful you guys you guys this was my dream like my dream marble i love the veining I love like how it was installed I think the fabricator did an amazing job the only issue we had with the marble let me just open this door 
So the only issue we had with the marble was that it had to be cut um, here because it was too big to fit uh, inside this frame. So we created this frame. We closed the wall, so we have this frame. So we had initially planned to have this like this whole slab, um, like the front facing slab. We had we, we we had initially planned to just like put it here and not cut it. But unfortunately, when they tried to move it up, it was too big. So they had to cut the corners there. They had to cut the corners there, and I think they did cut somewhere there when they finally got here they realized that it couldn't fit in here because of the frame so unfortunately they had to cut it again so that's the line where they cut so they had to cut um all that piece so yeah that was the only way they could like fit the marble in here otherwise it wasn't gonna work so yeah they had to cut this it broke my heart but yeah it had to be done there was no other way um so that's one of the things that i feel like if i knew about it i was going to like to plan ahead the only way for this to work was if we had built this wall first and then installed the slab before closing these other two uh, i mean before closing this frame that was the only way this could have worked but yeah we didn't know and our fabricator obviously was not um he also didn't know that we were going to have this frame or the frame was going to be like too small so yeah unfortunately the slab had to be cut so yeah uh, but other than that I was really happy with the, the work they did they did an amazing job even the niche beautiful uh, the only thing that I wasn't happy with uh, with the niche I wish they had cut um, I wish they had done like a 45 degree angle there uh, but other than that, I'm really happy with the work they did. Uh, the installation was quick and yeah, they did a very like clean and neat job. But this is what I wanted. I wanted the shower to be like to cover the entire the entire shower so it's cladded in um, marble and guys there was no convincing me with this if, if I could do the um, the floor as well in marble I would have done that but yeah unfortunately marble is very like slippery it wasn't gonna be safe so we had to get um, this tile instead this is from union tiles as well uh, I'm not sure if you guys can tell on camera but these slabs are not like 100% the same so which is also what I mentioned when I was doing the Q&A that you have to go with your fabricator to choose the slab because they are not the same so if you look at this one i'm not sure if you guys can tell on camera but this piece of slab is not the same as this one this one has like some purple veining and this one has like a tint of green i'm not sure if it's all on camera but yeah they're not the same uh, but when we got to Union Tiles to buy um, the, the, the extra slab because we ran out of material so we had to go back to Union Tiles um, to get more slabs and we got there and they didn't have this batch anymore so we had to choose um, the slab from this batch which I was not happy <laughs> I was not happy with unfortunately there was nothing we could have done the installer had already the fabricator had already started installing the slab so we had to continue we couldn't wait for three months because they have to order these uh, I think these are ordered in like Italy from Italy I don't know but yeah it takes forever I think you have to wait like three months so yeah there was like no way we could have waited because they had already started the, um, the installation or the fabrication so yeah that's another thing that you have to to remember when you order these you have to make sure that you have like more than enough material then we have the same cornice here this cornice is from Leroy Merlin really really love it i really really love this cornice like i just love that it adds that like traditional look instead of like a modern looking like slick cornice i'm really happy with this one i love the pattern the flowers it's just really beautiful um and then these are the shower heads that i ordered on amazon from this brand called kingston brass I'm really, 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 really happy with them. These are in Polish brass and we got two because we wanted to have a double shower, guys. There was no convincing me with this one again. It was like one of the non-negotiables. I wanted a double shower, so we had to get two double, I mean, we had to get two shower heads, two mixers, and the shower had to be like big. Um, so yeah, we initially wanted the French doors. But unfortunately, we couldn't do that because the shower was out of square. So yeah, unfortunately, we only we could only do like a single door. The shower installation was done by clear glass, and I think it was around five point something, five point eight. Um, but it wasn't that bad. I was expecting like 
double that price because of the the first quotes that we got from another um, another company but yeah it was around um it was around five point something including installation uh, we went for antique brass accessories or finish because they didn't have polished brass and i didn't want to wait um until they get polished brass so i decided to go for antique brass and yeah they did an amazing job i'm really happy and they also installed um, the shower rail this is actually a rail uh, but can also be used as a like um, a handle so yeah i'm really happy that they they did the, they installed it like this instead of like um a vertical this wall we decided to panel this wall because i don't know i just wanted to add paneling you guys i love paneling and it adds something like it adds like a it gives a room or a wall like a facelift so yeah i had to do paneling uh paneling on this wall uh but we didn't want to do like the entire wall so we did like half half of the wall which i am happy with we still need to cut this and just make it clean uh, but i'm happy with this paneling uh, so these light fixtures we got uh, from facebook marketplace really really love them so this is just another way of adding um like to add like character or to add like a traditional feel i really really love them uh, i love the shape it's not like a clear glass so it's frosted so i really really love that they just add character in in the space and yeah i really really love them so i think i got like a like four of these i think i paid 600 rands and moving on we have this little cupboard so this is where the problem started you guys this was not supposed like it wasn't part of the plan but we decided to do like um, a little storage area uh because this is where we had um we have our our staircase so the staircase goes up to here i think up to here and unfortunately we couldn't do anything here so we had to just use the space as a storage because we had initially planned to open up all this wall like to open up all this wall so the bathroom was supposed to initially the shower was supposed to be like to start from there up until here i think but yeah unfortunately we couldn't do anything here because there's a staircase so we decided to just use the space as storage as you guys can see i have all my um my baskets in here from my secret pep home which i'm never gonna share with you guys yeah i just stole like towels and yeah i just really love how it looks it's so neat and um i have more towels i have pillowcases i have all these knobs that i've been i've been collecting i have my room sprays there's there's just like things that i love in here and i'm really happy with how it looks it's just so neat and organized and yeah i'm really really happy with how the space um turned out we, we use the same carpenter to to make these uh the vanity and this um this little cabinet and then we also decided to panel to panel the doors we love like paneling i think it adds like depth and it just adds like um like dimension so we decided to panel these doors we painted them the same color as the wall i'm going to leave the name of the color of the paint color here i always forget the name i think it's called the river clay from from Plaskan. um and then we have these uh knobs these are uh, polished brass we got most of the knobs here in the bathroom from um from glass and brass they're they're in edenville they are very affordable you guys so if you want to get like traditional uh classic knobs i highly highly recommend glass and brass and then moving on we had initially wanted this this to be um an arch as well but unfortunately the frame is um is structural i don't know how but remember this house is very old so there's so many like weird things about this house so yeah the frame is like structural so we couldn't um we couldn't move it uh, so i just decided to paint the frame for now and we'll see later what we decide to do with it but yeah for now we kept the frame and the shape as it is so yeah so that's why we left it if you guys can see we didn't even cut this we just left it as it is because i was so tired you guys i wanted to finish this this uh this bathroom so we just decided to paint it for now maybe later we might do something but for now we decided to just paint it because i think it looks clean um like this 
uh, but yeah moving on I also want to talk about this beautiful floor this is the wood look floor we got it from um, CTM the name of this tile is honey oak I'm gonna leave it in the description I did search it yesterday they still have it uh, but yeah it's so beautiful I'm really happy with it I love the shade of this tile it's really beautiful I love the knot I just love this tile it's really beautiful uh, I wasn't a fan of like wood look tiles before but yeah I'm re I was really happy with this one the same Honest. there's nothing on this wall because we really haven't like decorated this bathroom I just cleaned it just to film this video uh, but yeah moving on we have our Beyonce of bathtubs you guys this is the dream like this was my dream bathtub and this bathtub is really nice beautiful uh, I feel like I can never like there's nothing bad I can say about this bathtub it's like it's very big I really really love it uh, the bathtub is from Victorian bathrooms really really beautiful I love the curves I just love like how thick it is it's so thick um, it's really really beautiful the bathtub was like I think it was 34k yeah it was 34k uh, I'm not sure how much it is now and then we have our mixer the mixer we got from Facebook Marketplace um, and then we got the stand pipes, these pipes, the stand pipes from Victorian bathrooms and we got the mixer polished. This mixer was originally, um, it was antique brass when we got it, but we got it polished so that it matches with um, the rest of the finishes in the bathroom. Um, and then yeah, I'm really happy with this. Ah, it's so beautiful, you guys know I was really, I'm really happy with this mixer. Really, really love it. It's written in French which is so unique as you guys can see this mixer is very old so it has a chip there but it doesn't really bother me i'm really happy with it so the mixer does work let me just open it for you guys so yeah it's definitely working really happy with it i moved this pot yesterday for this video and uh, guys i'm so happy with how it's looking because i just wanted to add like greenery i felt like this bathroom needed like life so i had this branch yesterday and um obviously i need to get like a fake one because i cannot keep live plants in here i don't think i can uh, i've been struggling to find like the right plant for 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 for, for this bathroom i think i should get an olive tree because i want like a very minimal uh plant but yeah this is the one we have for today for this video and then this rain is from trendy tabs i ordered on take a lot um i just don't have towels here at the moment but i am going to hang them you guys will see i have like my favorite ones that i recently got from zara home but yeah i really really love this um this ray i love that it's not like plain it has like detailing in here love 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 it i think it's just like little things like this that add um like it adds character to like to the space so yeah, i really really love the detailing on this rail and then um we got roman roman shades so these shades uh we got them from uh blind guys blind yeah blind guys so we got roman shades i'm going to leave the exact i'm going to write everything in the description box i'm going to leave the exact name of this um of this type of blind and uh, i think we paid so with this one obviously it depends on your space uh on how big your space is but for these ones we paid i think we paid around was it four thousand or three close to four thousand rands but yeah it wasn't that bad and i really really loved how the um, how they turned out really beautiful very clean the installation was also quick so yeah i highly highly recommend them um i was really really happy with the work they did our biggest issue in this bathroom you guys was the toilet so unfortunately we had to change our initial plan which meant that we did not have enough space now for the toilet so that was the only option we had i know some people did uh say uh suggested that we move the toilet into the space some people did suggest that we move the toilet there uh but i was not really happy with that because I feel like I don't like to walk into the bathroom and the first thing I see is the toilet. I know we could have like uh, installed a door somewhere there, but I just didn't like having the toilet like as you walk into the bathroom. So yeah, we decided to put the toilet there. The toilet, you guys, is so pretty. I really, really love this toilet. It's just 
so beautiful this toilet is from victorian bathroom it's called the burlington burlington toilet uh it's really really beautiful guys the handle this is in polished brass um what i love about victorian bathrooms is that you can customize like whatever you buy so for example you can get the same the same toilet but with a different uh different handle you can go for chrome you can go for nickel you can go for polished nickel age brass like you can create the the toilet you want you can basically customize each and every little detail so with the toilet set we decided to get the mahogany toilet set which i really really love really really love this toilet set the toilet set is also sold separately so in total for the toilets i think we paid um close to nine thousand rands like for everything but everything is sold like separately so you pay for the assistant you pay for the handle you pay for the toilet seats and then you pay for like the, the base like the toilet uh but in total it was around like 8.9 i'm really really happy with this toilet i just love how different it looks and it just adds something you guys i didn't i, I knew i didn't want a like a modern toilet i don't like modern toilets like especially those ones that hang on the wall i'm, I'm not a fan of those uh so i knew i wanted like a traditional toilet and i just love it so much you guys i love the seats it's just it's really beautiful i i really really love it this wall was empty so i decided to hang that out yesterday i hadn't had the chance to decorate this bathroom uh, but i just tried to make it look like we live here or we use it um, and then moving on we also have this ray this tall ray so we, we we also did this yesterday i am going to decorate this for you guys to see how it works but it's basically for when we wash our hands we are going to hang like we'll have like towels in here which we we'll use to dry our hands this is also from trendy types and i love that it has the same detail in here it's not these you can like play around with these if you want it to be like this you can have it like this if that's what you want but yeah i just love it like that i think i love it like this so you hang your towels in here we don't have a toilet paper handle we have it but we have we, we haven't decided where we want it to go so for now we have that basket so we just put all our toilet paper there for now so yeah that's another problem we have uh but it doesn't really bother me like that much for now uh, and then moving on sorry guys i'm rushing now i'm running out of space Moving on, we have our vanity, and this was also one of the non-negotiables, you guys. There was no convincing me. I knew we didn't have enough space. We could have done a single vanity and like move our toilet there, but I wanted a his and has vanity, so there was no convincing me. So we have um, our double, like his and has. Love it so much, you guys. I'm so happy. I really, really love it. I'm really, really happy with this. And uh, we did the same marble stone here and also our um, this look this finish is called brook hill uh it's from pg bison yeah pg bison and then we have our our knobs these are uh, solid brass knobs from um glass and brass really really love them and then our basins so we didn't have enough space so we had to get the smallest basins these ones are from ctm um and yeah these mixers they are from uh we got these mixers from facebook marketplace really really love them we had to get uh, we had to get them polished and cleaned but yeah the mirror is from facebook marketplace guys unfortunately my battery died so i'm on my phone now if you guys notice the change in quality yeah i was still telling you guys about this mirror it's from facebook market i got it on facebook marketplace and absolutely loved it i knew this was the right like size for this face i was really struggling to find the right size um the mirror for this face i went to so many different stores i went to at home i went to Corycraft, but i don't know i just didn't i didn't want i didn't want a mirror with like a brass finish or a brass frame i knew i wanted something different and when i saw this one i knew it was the right one because it has this wooden frame Oh, it's so beautiful i really really love love this mirror i don't really remember the price but but the stuff i get on marketplace you guys it's always like super affordable so yeah i got this mirror on marketplace and these um these wall lights i got them on on um on take a lot i'm going to leave the links in the description box they still have these i think i paid like 1.6 for two uh they're quite affordable i think each is like 800 and something uh but yeah they still have these i saw them yesterday uh but yeah that is basically all you guys i think i've covered everything
okay guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it was informative and i know i couldn't answer all the questions but most of the questions on my instagram homepage, i couldn't like answer them uh, because the video was getting too long but i hope i have answered like all the most like like the frequently asked questions if i couldn't answer your question i'm definitely going to answer it in like the next vlogs uh because i didn't want the video to be very long but i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was informative and yeah i think that's basically all i will see you guys in my next video bye guys